Hey guys, it's Oddly Cute. I hope you guys had a wonderful October, and now it's not October anymore. Oh, <laughs> and it's getting pretty cold where I'm at, so I don't know where you guys are, but I am freezing. <laughs> uh, today I'm going to paint, I guess it's kind of like a three marker challenge. Um, I've never actually watched a three marker challenge before, I don't know what it is technically, except for the title. And some markers, I'm using the Ecoline brush pens, which I am in love with, and they're not that pricey. They're like $3 each, which I am really surprised about, because my first one I used was f completely free, and then I was like, oh, I love it, and I'm like, oh no, how much is this gonna be? So I went to the store, and I'm super, super surprised and happy how inexpensive it was. And it's really nice for like quick drawings and I haven't really used it for like a final painting yet But eventually I will so I'll just be talking about those guys and What not? <laughs> uh, this painting really has no plan. I just kind of wanted to do like I guess like a little like fruit demon a centaur chair person something fantasy i guess he's not really a game he's more like a satyr there we go satyrs i love satyrs and i just forgot the names of them uh satyrs are like half goat people they're like goat people and then like the bottom half is like a goat but they have like horns and they love fruit i'm assuming because they love wine <laughs> um yeah, that's what I'm doing. I've been doing a lot of portraits lately because like portraits are fun and I've been using the artist tiles, the I think Bristol Board artist tiles. So there's not much room to really do like a full body and I want to do more full bodies because I noticed I don't do a lot of them. And a lot of people are like, you don't do legs. I'm like, I can draw legs. It's just like choose not to. <laughs> I'd rather draw hands and legs, that's for sure. Anyway. Uh, how are you guys doing? <laughs> so the three colors I have for my eco line is I have just the red. I don't know if they actually have like actual colors. They have like numbers, which I guess is the number of the color. Um, hmm. Mm, okay, there we go. There are, there are color names. Okay, so the red is a scarlet, which is kind of more like orangey, which is kind of weird because it's, mm, I don't know. Uh, and then the blue, which I got for free, was a turquoise blue, which looks exactly like that. And then the other one is a deep ochre, which looks more like a gold. I mean, it's shimmery gold, but it's not like when you put it on, it's, it's an ochre color, which I like. So far, my favorite color is the free one, which is the blue, which I love light blue. Like, baby blue is my favorite. So I use that a lot during my Inktobers. Uh, these guys are really good for like, yeah, washy kind of techniques. And you could use them without like using washing them out. You could just use them as regular um, pens. And they do kind of layer nicely. Uh, probably not as smoothly as most pens, but what can you do? <laughs> They're supposed to be watercolor pens. And I've been like experimenting with them a lot lately. I've been like layering, trying to figure out what can I do to make like full use of things. I really like them and I want to use them for more like a final painting which I haven't tried yet. Um, I've been more experimenting and I'm more of like a really, I'm like a tighter, when I paint big paintings I'm much more tighter at it. Like I want to make them neat and tidy and it's kind of like the mindset's very different. I don't like the mindset of that because I feel like a more um, uh, not challenged. <laughs> it's not that word. I'm more uptight about it. There we go. I'm doing a tighter painting. I'm more uptight about things. That so works really well. <laughs> so these pens kind of force me to be more loose about things. And I really like that because I want to be more looser, more like whimsical. I love drawing whimsical things, but I've been super like hard edge lately. And I don't like that. So these pens are really great for trying to get more smoother, but you still have control, even with the watercolor part, because it's a pen, you put where you want, and then you don't have to like worry about hard edges, because you could just go with a watercolor brush with the water and smooth it out, and you can also like get rid of the lines you make and just literally blend everything together, which is really cool, because I, I accidentally made a line that I did not like, and I was like, oh no, it's there forever now, and then I put water over it, and it disappeared, it just kind of blended in, which is super nice, but 
It's a little difficult with the Bristol board because Bristol board is not watercolor paper and it does like bunch up and doesn't hold water as well so you gotta be careful with that but what can you do? <laughs> um, so I got sniffles again. I feel like every time I do a video of sniffles, um, I think it's because it's cold. <laughs> it's so cold right now. I'm wearing two sweatshirts and none of them are nice sweatshirts, like just ugly sweatshirts. <laughs> and I like cute sweatshirts, so that makes me a little sad, but whatever. So, yeah, it's been cold, I'm sniffling, and I'm doing something fun. And it's nice, because it's I've been really in the rut lately. And trying like new supplies is always fun, it helps you get more motivated. And this is definitely what these guys did. Um, I think, I don't know, I think the only thing I don't like about these pens, like unlike watercolors, um, when you put it down, you could keep going over it, but when it dries, you can't really take off too much. But with these guys, I put it on and it dries. It could dry for like a few days and then when I put water again, it still blends. Which is nice if you want to continue something, but it's also like, oh, now it's everything's muddy or kind of like, oh no, <laughs> it's not exactly what I wanted. So that's the only downfall so far that I have with these pens, but I've also only been using them on Bristol board. I haven't tried any other paper yet. So I'll see how that works later on when I feel like it. <laughs> so challenging like with just minimal color is actually for me a little easier than this with more colors because when I have a whole run a uh, wide range of watercolors. I feel like I'm more like stuck in like what color do I use or I forget like what is a color anymore. I don't know. And picking three colors is super, especially if you only have like three colors. I mean, I have four of a darker blue too, but I'm only using the three for like a challenge, I guess. Uh, it, it's easier to pick like, you know, like you have your warm colors, which is the red, and your cool colors, which is the blue and then, um, and then you have your like yellow color, which is kind of like a bright, bright color, warm, whatever's. <laughs> oh no, ah, I just dropped it, sorry. <laughs> um, so having those colors, like it's nice to have like a little range of that, but like not forcing yourself to like pick and have a harder time. I'm also using for the outlining, I actually just use Sharpie. I did use a little bit of Prismacolor for the little lighter um, lines and um, Sharpie actually works really well for, it doesn't bleed or anything when you put water over it. It does bleed if you like stick your, the pen on the paper, it's like, psh, it bleeds everywhere. So it's nice to like force yourself to like kind of draw quickly, but accurately, it's really cool. And I've been having a lot of practice with that, that's why I'm using it. I bought a lot of Sharpies, so I'm trying to like use it. And they're not, it's not that expensive, you can get the whole pack for pretty cheap. So technically, I guess this whole like painting is pretty, the supplies are not that expensive. Let's see, the pens are about $3. The, the paper as a pack, I think, I don't remember, it was like 10, five, I don't, I don't remember actually. <laughs> And the Sharpies, it could, depends if you want to get like a full set or not. It's not that expensive either. I guess the cheapest thing right now is the individual color brush pens, which I can love so much. I keep boasting about them. Kind of want to write the people who made them like a letter like, hey, thank you so much for these. I love it so much. <laughs> anyway, so for the painting, just very loosely, a lot of water, a lot of loose. Well, not too much water, because again, I'm using Bristol board and it doesn't like too much water. I'm gonna like start, it's gonna start ripping on me. I know that it is, it's gonna start buckling and ripping. I'm gonna be really sad and have to be really careful with it. But I decided to do like, I haven't been doing a lot of horns lately and I used to like draw horns a lot when I was little because I thought it was really cool and fun. I love animals with horns. I love like buffaloes and goats. And I love satyrs. Satyrs and um, cupids are like my favorite <laughs> things ever. <laughs> They're just so great. Um, I know satyrs kind of has like a weird like backstory and kinds of stuff, but whatever. All like Greek and all kinds of mythology has like a weird things for everything. 
Anyway, that's my talking about the pens in my life and the painting. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you didn't, do not do anything. If you did, please a like and subscribe or leave a comment. And thank you so much for your support. And until next time, bye.